very caring person. She's going to go all the way out of her way just to help you out. She's giving me hope. When I was younger, I used to come here uh, because it is hard for me living. So I came here and uh, I was referred to Pat. And when I was referred to Pat, she always gave me bus passes so I can get to school. It was just the hard fact that I was um, in and out of places, like it's hard to live. I met her a few years ago, several years ago, and it was during a time where my, um, I was, we were going through difficult times and she really helped us a lot. Being homeless, not having transportation, trying to provide for my children. Um, I found myself at a crossroad you know, hit a rough patch and I talked to the school and to see if they had any resources and they recommended Pat Eldridge. When I'm at a mainstream school, there's too many kids to, um, to attend to. And in my situations, it's not the easiest. They won't be able to help you. That's why we get sent out to community schools. Pat is a great resource for students and families who are uh, affected by housing. As a liaison, I work under federal legislation. It's called the McKinney-Vento Act, and it was enacted in 1989. It addresses the needs of homeless students. It tries to level the playing field, so it gives homeless students certain rights. When you enroll in school, you're supposed to have a proof of residency. Most of my families don't have that. I make sure that they can get enrolled in school, that they have a way to get to school. We have a lot of resources in this area in terms of shelters, but it's not enough to address the needs of the community we live in. Because of the cost of housing, it's precluding people from, from living here. They cannot make a living here on minimum wage. They just they can't raise a family here, so um, people are moving out of the district. Whenever I'm working with someone, a student or a family, and I know, okay, this is a pat. When she comes in the room, it's just like, okay, we can, we're gonna do this. This is what I can do for you. This is what I need you to do for yourself. Um, and it's that calming presence. Pat is just an amazing woman. I mean, she never judges. She told me, Friday, you're resilient, you know? You're doing what you need to do. and. It gave me a, a speck of hope, you know, that, hey, maybe I'm doing the right thing. There are students who have a lot of other things going on in their life, and so sometimes they can't be in school. I was supposed to graduate, but I left a year because I had to go into construction to feed myself. She helped me visualize a future for myself, and she really brought hope in me um, to kind of pursue a career in engineering because um, I love math and that's where I see myself in the future, so thanks to her, I have that image and that dream. So education is, uh, is key. It will actually help me out because uh, when I graduate, my boss will give me a raise that will um, possibly help me and my family get into a place together because we're all separated. We don't live together. I live by myself. I've honestly never met a person like her that's really paid attention to me and my family and in our, in our situation that we've been through. And she's, she's always had an, you know, an ear to like listen. Somebody that really doesn't know me on a personal, personal level, but understands the struggle I'm going through yeah, is sure. really <laughs> giving me hope and has taught me that there, like I said, there are people out there, especially a strong woman like Pat, that, you know, I can, I, I can depend on her no matter what. I just want to thank her so much for, for, you know, helping me in my dream because if it weren't for her, I, I probably would have jumped from school to school and I probably wouldn't even like have the, you know, necessary amount of credits to even get my diploma. And she, she's a big reason why I've accomplished what I have accomplished.